Okay, I get deuce. Hello, deuce. Rancho Soñado, we chose the name because it means ranch of our dreams or dreamed of ranch. And this really is a dream for Dick and myself. Our philosophy here at Rancho Soñado, number one, is to provide a wonderful nurturing environment for the horses. And number two, to introduce people to the versatility and the joy of owning an Arabian. They raise horses um, that have exposure to lots of uh, different things and are happy, healthy horses they're well taken care of, they get lots of uh, exercise as well as pasture time. So all of the horses get the opportunity to go out and be horses with other horses and really enjoy life, which is what we're, we want to make sure that happens here down at Rancho Senado, that the horses are happy. A happy horse is a happy human. <laughs> This mare, Gracie Girl V, really personifies everything we're trying to do with our breeding program. It's built on the wonderful bloodlines from Sheila Varian, who of course has mainly Polish bloodlines, going way back to many sires you'll see winning in our performance and halter today. They're super intelligent. Number two, they're sensitive, and they're sensitive to people. We walk in the barn in the morning or at night, and. Uh, most of the horses will nicker when they hear your foot steps in the barn. The facility is really built around the horse's happiness and comfort and safety. The babies grow out in enormous pastures in a herd environment. And when I came here and I drove in and I looked around and I thought, oh, if I were gonna be a horse, I would, I would wanna live here. This is where I'd wanna be. What we offer here is um, a really pleasant, beautiful environment to care for your horse. So the care of the horses and the safety of the horses and the riders are number one in our priorities. We have all kinds of horses, horses that are ridden regularly, horses that are retired, horses that are two-year-olds and just learning to be turned out and be two-year-olds and grow and finish their development. So uh, we do layups here and recovery. We can also give you lessons if you're interested in learning. One of the things that I really appreciate about this facility in the Waldens is they're breeding a open quality, amateur friendly horse that is versatile in many disciplines. Not only uh, a hunter horse or a western pleasure horse, but a, a trail horse uh, in competition as well as a horse you can take out on the weekends, family friendly, and even horses that they use for um, working the ranch. Every time you handle a horse from birth, you are either training the horse or untraining the horse. So after the mare gives birth, we allow them to imprint together. But very shortly after that, within a day, for example, uh, we get in the stall, we handle the foal, we uh, talk to it, we get it used to human touch and human voice. Uh, soon we'll be uh, picking up its feet, we'll be teaching it to halter lead, uh, to back up, to get in and out of a trailer. Um, to trust us. This is Chicago Shaps RS for Rancho Soñado, and he is the first two-time reserve national champion that we have bred. There's nothing like the feeling of seeing from start to finish uh, a full develop and become a national champion. And it's also a tribute to our program. Uh, it was really a thrill of a lifetime. <laughs> We run a small uh, commercial cow herd. We use the registered Angus bulls. We enjoy and we work the cows with these horses, these Arabian and half Arabian horses, both roping during brandings and cutting. Just a pleasurable thing to have around and I enjoy seeing the cows and particularly the baby calves. I had an older horse named Goldie that was here for six years, retired here, and it was, um, the best six years of his life, he had 
beautiful pasture, he got to be a horse, he had no shoes on, he had a fantastic life. And, but we lost him to colic this summer and um, you know it's a tough experience, it's one that every horse owner dreads, but the, the respect and the dignity that we felt here and that he was treated with and I was treated with is you know second to none. It's not an assembly line situation here, it's about quality not, not quantity. We're helping others to see that you can achieve these amazing, you know, wins and these goals and you can achieve these goals and also keep your horses healthy and happy mentally and physically and, and you don't have to, they don't have to be stressed out. What we're doing is, is raising the bar. Sure is green. That rain has done a it's lot. It's done a lot. Sure has. Unbelievable. This is summer. horse heaven, I think. <laughs> Pastures like these. Having an international company with roughly 300 employees and many consultants and brokers all around the globe, it really is important for Dick and I have, to have a getaway. And this ranch being out here in nature, uh, we love the wild critters as well as the domestic critters that are here. Uh, and sharing this with our friends who are boarders and those that just come to visit. There's something about people that like horses. My theory is if you don't mind a little manure on your boots and uh, you know, a little dust uh, in your hair, you're all right. And we have found some wonderful friendships uh, through the horse industry. That's perfect, that would have been a plus. You want your treat? Lip smacking good. Time for a bath and then you can be turned out for the rest of the day.